Okay, so I'm going to try to show you how to use a graphing calculator to do some, do some of this some of this work. Uh, there's many out there, but somebody asked uh, how how the person who showed us this work came up with those fractional uh, answers for the inverse of, of matrix A. So I'm going to first off on on my TI-84 um, second matrix. I have to edit. And a meta edit matrix A. Now this is still a three row, three column matrix. So I'm just going to hit enter through to there. Now I'm going to type in those numbers and make sure you use the negative key for negative numbers, not the subtract key. Because that'll give you an error. Uh, let's see what have we got. Four and zero. Let's see, eight, zero. I'll tell you, I wish I had had one of these available when I did my linear algebra class as undergrad. Trying to find a matrix, an inverse of a matrix by hand is such a hassle. I mean, it really got in the way of learning the math because uh, you, we we're trying to do more than just finding inverses. And, and if you made a, sign, a mistake here, it threw it all off for the next. So let's see. So I've got that matrix in there. So then I'm going to quit this. Sometimes you can just go second matrix again, but I find I make fewer mistakes. So then I'm going to edit matrix two. Make sure you always come over to the edit if you're going to edit your matrix because that'll mess it up. Uh, let's see, what is the uh, constant matrix? Negative 22 and 36 and 46. Let's see, I think I've got those right. And hopefully I've got the other one right. Maybe I should quit. I should double check before I get on to this. Second matrix with matrix one. See here, I'm not going to edit. I'm just going to. I just want to see what matrix one looks like. So I just chose it. So let's see: four, negative one, negative five, four, zero, eight, zero, seven. Well, good. I get that. I get that right. So now, um, how can you get the matrix and the, uh, the inverse in the calculator? Well, I'm going to do second matrix and one, and then. On a graphing calculator, on these TI calculators, if you just hit the reciprocal button, uh, I mean, it's not re the reciprocal, it's a multiplicative inverse. So, but this is what the calculator uses to get those, get those numbers. And so I'm just going to press enter and whoops, and notice I get those fractional values. Now, how did this person get those, 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 uh, those values? Well, maybe they did something, you know, re recognize something, but I don't know exactly what they are. So what you can do is do math and frac. It'll take that last answer and convert them all to fractions. And if if it's possible, if you can write those write those uh, decimal values as, as a fraction as a rational number, the calculator will do it. Um, sometimes it does uh, some rounding and it messes it all up, but it's something to keep in mind. And so that's that. Now, then to solve this matrix, maybe I should finish doing that. Um, I, I could at this point just go. Um, uh, times, then do uh, second matrix uh, B because it's the inverse of A times B, and and there's the solution. Now, uh, normally, what I would do, I wouldn't have that the last calculated answer. So, what I would do is I would do second matrix one hit the inverse key, and then do second matrix two to get the constant matrix in there. And there's a solution. We should write that as an order triple. And uh, but that's, how, that's how you can get this math without having to do the math. And it's more important to understand where it's coming from. If you have to take a linear algebra class as part of your undergraduate work, well, then you'll learn how to do this all by hand. Because then you're going to go beyond. I'm sure at this point they don't, they probably have you try a couple of the numeric kind of inverses and then they kick it on beyond and stuff I don't really remember. Characteristic polynomial and the diagonals of a bunch of polynomials that you have to deal with. I don't even remember what it was about, but um, I do remember doing it. So anyways, enough. Uh, hope this helps.